I met up with three friends who know how to uncover the secrets of old LA. Leela Higgins, an entomologist. David Kapoor, an architect. And Victoria Bernal, a public historian. We set out for the old Belmont substation near downtown with a few stops along the way. As early as 1887, LA's electric trolleys began to connect to the suburbs and along the coast. Railway owners hoped that extending their lines across undeveloped land would boost real estate development. And they were right. Developers like Henry Huntington took advantage of the situation and began to build what we now know as the LA Sprawl. Later, in the 1920s, the Pacific Electric tried to modernize its aging system with a shortcut, a subway tunnel under congested downtown so trains could avoid all those clogged streets above. All right, ready? The tunnel is still there, a mile long underneath Bunker Hill. So have you all seen Who Framed Roger Rabbit? It actually presents a conspiracy theory, right? That there were these sort of nefarious forces operating behind the scenes that were behind the, the downfall of the red car. The corporate elite? Yeah, yeah, like the biggest corporations in America, General Motors and the all the tire interests. And <laughs> That's a bit of an oversimplification of what really happened, don't you think? Totally. totally definitely. Yeah, well, there were, I mean, I guess lots of different explanations, right? There's um, changing consumer preferences, right? I mean, like some people just kind of preferred the, the automobile, Yeah. right? Individuality in America, like you can be in control of when you're leaving, when you're coming and going, you don't have to worry about like waiting for a train. Well, and then there's Eric Avila's book, uh, Popular Culture in the Age of White Flight, in which he yeah. states that in 1915, LA County was leading the nation in automobile ownership. Mm -hmm. And right. that was happening as soon as 1915. So yeah. that yeah. just increased. And that was tied up with like the progressive movement, right? Because people saw the rail car executives as like these rich barons, you know, and they were like, so stick it to the rich rail car executive and get a car. It was like the progressive thing to do. And then there's the fact that like the Pacific Electric was, like there was a lot of underinvestment in it, right? Yeah. Like the, they didn't really keep it up well. In fact, it was by what, the 1940s or even 1930s, it was already sort of an antiquated system, right? That underinvestment is helped by Harry Chandler, head of the LA Times. I mean, he had major investments in uh, Goodyear Tire Rubber Company, in Union Oil, in the gravel, rock and gravel company, a construction company. Mm -hmm. So the LA Times is advocating against uh, subsidizing uh, funds to improve the system while supporting municipal investment in roadways. But then the people getting cars made the trains run slow. It kind of ruined it, yeah. right? Because then the trains are stuck in traffic too. Right. Because they all had to share the same road. Right. Yeah, it could take forever to get to like Hollywood, for instance. That's why they built this, right? To make it a lot quicker to get to, it was yeah. called the Hollywood subway. Yeah. Right, and it saved a lot of time, supposedly. Yeah, it did. But yeah, 1911, to get from Six and Main to Aliso Street was sometimes longer than getting from Aliso Street to Pasadena. Which is crazy. Because downtown was just so congested it with people and other trains and cars. I mean, cars were what really ruined it all. Watch your step here, everyone. Thanks. Does this remind you of a niche in a cathedral? <laughs> I mean, this is, of course, the path, essentially, of an old arroyo, right? So right. kind of makes sense that there's a little water flowing. The, the water just wants to A little more space. polluted, this water, than that. Oh, right, here's another one of these niches. This one has a light in it. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Well, there you go. Oh, That's wow. pretty. In an outlet. You what? need lighting for any statues that you might put in there. You got to bring an extension yeah, cord. Yeah, this is an old electrical box, I think. Oh, wow. This is more gravelly here. I think oh, you're gonna <laughs> get I know, I'm gonna lose my shoe. Don't lose okay. your shoe. Thank you. Wow. So this dead ends at the Bonaventure, right? Yeah, it's just like a wood wall at the end, and you can hear the freeway through it. It's a shame that you can't walk through the whole, I mean, I, 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 I like the Bonaventure, but. Uh, if it went to the subway terminal building, wouldn't that be so cool? Well, yes. they, could, they, they could actually use this for transit if they hadn't built yeah. the foundation through it, yeah. We run the train back on Glendale Boulevard, all the way to Griffith Park, right? Or all the way to Glendale. So do you have any of your magical, like, history? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Usually you bring you something. something. I do, oh, let's I take did. a look. Plastic my glasses. Pipe, I want to check it out. 
Here, I got a flashlight. So here. I brought the cover of Pacific Electric Magazine, 1925, when wow. the magazine opened. <laughs> and so it talks about how the hearty approval of patrons <laughs> usher in subway. Throngs attend opening. The band played, speakers spoke, banqueters dined, clique lights beamed, cameras clicked, and ginger ale gingerly splashed <laughs> against Car number seventy four one because it was prohibition. So oh, they was, sprinkled ginger ale. On. Ginger ale. <laughs> so, ginger so ale. sticky. And then you know here's like the pictures of the opening in wow. which Glendale and Burbank visitors who recited verses and sang catchy booster songs. But yeah, they did a whole little history tableau. So we saw the history of oh, streetcars as of 1925. So we had the horse drawn carriage, then the kind of old timey one. See, and then oh, here's, wow. here's the workers who are building this tunnel. I mean, their names are not here, but I feel like we should acknowledge this work that they did. Yeah. And this is all like they're just offloading. Yeah. From a real yeah. car. P.E. Oh. -E car. 2415. Two, yeah. So that's like a work car, a P.E. work car. Yeah. Wow, there's switches in the tunnel. That's um, on the other end. That's like the Pacific, the, that's the, the subway, subway terminal, terminal side. Yeah. Because yeah. it has all yeah. those crazy switches. So here it was probably two tracks, right? Were we thinking? Couldn't fit much more, right? Yeah. I mean, I guess it's wide enough for two. One going one way, one going the other. I wonder what happened to all the rails. There's no, it's not beneath this mud, right? Well, well would they have taken it to melt it down for the metal? I'm like, they're, they're not gone. just gonna leave that metal it here. It feels like it's gone. Unless the mud, the mud, because they didn't right. used to have that drainage control, so water did flood in. It could be three feet beneath us here. It could be. Oh, yeah. wow. Perfectly preserved. Did you bring your shovel? No, I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs>